how I, I could do it this way so you can kind of see the difference between the two. So the function of x, anytime we see the f of x line, it's going to be negative 7x squared. And then if you have yourself a, an additional line, the g of x here will be 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. So clearly what you'll do when you have to go here, they're telling you to find the g of x value, subtract it from the f of x value. But what's the value of x this time? Five. Very good. If you see here, they gave you a value for the x to plug in for each x that you see. So let's solve this first one up here top. For the f of x, oh, I'm sorry, pardon. F of what? Five. Five. So when this function is at five, it becomes negative seven. What do I plug in for x? Five. Five to the second power. If you need, make the corrections now on your paper. I gave it to you. Follow along so you can know how to do it. Yeah, make the corrections now on your paper. So now we want to go to solve it. F, the function, when this function, negative 7x squared, when it's 5, what is it equal? Well, what's 5 squared? 25. So this 25. becomes negative 7 times 25, which makes the function of 5. Negative 175. Hello, this man knows his dollars and cents. So you got the first term. Yes. F of five is negative 175. And remember, we're gonna be subtracting this from G. So, we got five. so now we gotta cross over here to G. C. Yes? So now let's get the function of G. G. What is the value of G again? Five. Five. So now you're going to plug in two. What goes here for the X? Five. Five to the second power plus four times five plus one. Very good. I like this. Quick math. So the function of G of five, first let's work it up there. Five squared becomes what? 25 times two. So this is 50 plus 4 and 5 20. plus 1. And that's how you get your G of 5 value is 71. So now you've got the value of G and you've got the value of F. Now what are we supposed to do? They're telling you now to subtract. Subtract 71 and negative 175. You got it. You're supposed to subtract G of 5 from F of 5. So when you get that, I'll do it right here. G of five was 71 minus negative five. F of five, which is negative 175. And then we gotta get a value. So this is basic algebra at this point. I'm gonna just do it over here. I'm just showing you that's how it looks up because you have g of five, which is 71, minus f of five, which is negative 175. So in other words, it's 71 minus negative 175. Basic algebra here, what do you do when you got subtracting integers with two different signs? Well, what do I do first? It's a process. Come on, keep change flip. You should, you should know that from last class. Yeah, we just covered these integers. Key, change, change, Holla, I like it. So your answer for C1 is 246. Check your paper, make sure you got it correct. If you got it correct, hey, you're on the right track. If you don't, make the necessary changes right now so you can get it right when I collect it. You know what's about to come back to you. So you have to Hi. Hi. Hi, did you have Romero? Miss Hala in that one. Who? Romero? Yeah. No, that was last period. 
It's fourth. It's fourth period now. Yeah, it's that she's supposed to be there. Hara Romero Mipala. So, oh my God. That's you? Oh, okay. Yeah, she's on the way now. Okay. Oh, must have I didn't understand. 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 Come on. Make sure you bring my computers back. I know where you go to school at. Maybe hunt you down. <laughs> All right, there's no more. Give me another one. He's just like, you're like. What do we have? Y'all want to see any more? Oh, or no? E2, E1, I mean. E1? Yeah, it's like in the bottom. I have a good one. Wait, time out. Are y'all good with this? Yeah. You still getting it? Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Let me get it down. Okay. Remember, you're going to get another chance at this in a few minutes. So that's why I'm going over it. Yeah. Hmm? All right, we're moving. E1. Are y'all sure? Can I erase? Yes. No, somebody still getting it? Look, that was two seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's busting. Oh, he's so weird. Oh, he's busting. Oh, he's Look at him, 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 you do it. 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 Wait, there was answer for E2? Wait, there's, for two? there's no like, we don't have one. Oh, wait, cut off? Yeah, yeah. cut off. Put All right, we can do E1, off. but don't worry about number two. Okay. Go ahead, read it out. Um, Which of the following represents G, X plus F, X, if F, X equals negative one plus six X and G, X equals negative X, um, Power to two to the power minus x plus fourteen. I don't think you have to say all of that. All right, so you had to add this. You had to add this one to this equation, correct? That's all they're asking us to do. Is yes. there a value for x? Yes. yes. No. There's no value. Huh? No. You remember your code? No. You didn't tell me about the They didn't. I know. Tell me, you know, you gotta, you gotta remember that. Hold on, Mia. Coach. Right here. No. It's wet. Is that important? 
So we just should be combining like terms, correct? Yes. So do me a favor. Fellas, what are y'all doing? Remember this for me because I'm about to switch the screen. Give me the values so we can work them out on this screen. Read them off to me. First, yeah. Negative times a negative is positive. All right, so what are they asking us to do? Are they ask, they're asking us to add what? F. F, of, F of X plus what? They want us just to add those two? No. Huh? No. What do you mean no? What is the question asking us? Oh. G, X plus F, X. They are asking us to add them. So what's the value, what's the function of F of X? What's F of X? Negative one plus six R. I mean, plus, 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 six, plus X. six X. Got it wrong. Just that? And, yeah. And then you're going to add it to G of X, which is? Negative X. X. Huh? Negative X cubed. Negative X cubed? Two, yeah. Two, that's not cubed, that's squared. So negative X squared? Minus X plus 14. Like that? Yes. All right, so to solve this, we'll put this in parentheses. This is pretty simple. You only use the CLT formula. First word begins with a C, second word begins with an L, third word begins with a T. That's it. So look, and remember, you see when we got these exponents? You see how this is lined up? How it goes from two X's to one X's no X's, you see how it goes in descending order? Yeah. That's how our answer has to be. You gotta put the most exponents to the least exponents. So I'm gonna start with the negative X squared. Do I have anything with a negative X squared? Hmm. No, I don't. So you can bring that down. Negative X squared. That one's done. Now I'm looking at the X's. Do I have anything with the last name X? No. I'm gonna ask again. Oh, yeah. Do I have anything with a, a, a term that ends in X here? Yes. What? Um, <coughs> negative what? X. Negative one X. Remember, there's really a one there. They just don't put it there, they don't have to. Yeah. So you're going to be adding 6x plus negative 1. Those that just had me for intensive, what do you notice here? Back row, because y'all know you was just with me last period, right? So what do you got here? You got two numbers, that's what? What? I got a 6 plus a negative 1. What do I do? What do you notice? This is, from oh. last, this is just from last period. Different signs, so I do what? Now nah, that's subtracting. So when we add it, I look at the two numbers and. No, nah, that's when you subtract it. Change the operation. What do you do when you add it? Where are your notes from adding? Where are your notes from last class? 
It's literally right there in your notebook, see? Gotta add a note. Remember, when you're adding two numbers of different signs, circle the greater value. Which number is greater? Six. And six is negative or positive? Positive. So I know my answer is going to be positive. And you just do, it's just what? Because you don't add them. You circle the greater number and do the opposite operation. You should have five here. So this becomes x squared plus 5x. So now these are done. This is done. This is done. What's remaining? 14. Well, before that? The one. The what kind of one is that? Negative one. So negative one plus 14. 14. I'm coming back to you, Joseph. What's your note say? What you got here again? Huh? What number is bigger? 13. What number is bigger? 14. 14 negative or positive? So do I add these? No. I my answer is Tracy. Good job. So your answer. Yep. Negative x to the second power plus 5x plus 13. That's your answer to that one. What time we go to lunch? 11.40. Oh, yeah, y'all got plenty of time. T? Gotcha. D? Like dog? Yeah. Hmm. Number one. Guys, nah, you got the last one. Oh. Thing, bro. Aha! Good one, good one. One or two? One? Alright? I'm coming to you now. They want us to do what with f of x and g of x? Add, subtract, multiply what? They want us to subtract those, right? Yes. And the function value for both is what? Seven. Seven. So let's do g of x first. Got it soon. So g of x, when you plug it in, g of x is five. Oh wow. So what is it? G of x already has a value. Of what? It's five. So you can sit that five there. Minus. Now we're gonna have to work on this f of x. Alright, well how'd you get that? What'd you do? Good. Negative eight. Stop doing that, bro. Gives you what? Very good. So F of seven is negative 51. So all you're doing now is plugging that in here. It becomes five minus negative 51. Joseph, all the rest of y'all quiet. What you see here? Okay. Keep the first number. Hello, come on. From a negative to a... So now what's my answer? Let's go. Let's go. Make sure your name is on your...